Hello everyone, my name is Artur Brum. I'm a postdoc researcher with a background in computer science working under supervision of Professor Guilherme Coelho. This is the presentation related to my poster entitled Machine Learning and Estimation of Distribution Algorithms for Production Strategy Optimization. I'll start with a definition of the problem that we have considered in our work, followed by a brief explanation of estimation of distribution algorithms, or EDA for short. I'll explain how we integrated machine learning with the EDA that we have developed and present the computational experiments that we have performed to evaluate our methodology. And in this work, we have addressed the production strategy optimization problem consisting of optimizing well placement, including number and positions of wells with the objective of maximizing the NPV. As we know, this is a challenging problem due to the high solution evaluation cost. Here, when I say solution, I mean a production strategy. Evaluating a solution usually involves running a simulation, which can take several minutes or even hours. Coupled with that, we usually have a large solution space that can be challenging to explore without a large budget of simulations, hence the difficulty of the, of the problem. In this work, we focus on the variables of the group G1 of the nominal version of the problem on step 6 of the 12-step methodology in the reference. So in this work, we address the problem with an EDA. EDAs are evolutionary meteoristics that use a probabilistic model to iteratively evolve a population of candidate solutions. Each iteration consists of three main steps, sampling the population of candidates, evaluating the population, and then updating the probabilistic model to guide the search towards a promising area of the search space. The probabilistic model in our EDA maintains a probability distribution for each one of the variables in the problem. The probability distributions are discrete for, for discrete variables, or truncated normal distributions for real and integer variables. And these distributions are used to sample the value, the value for each one of the variables in the problem. During the initial iterations, the algorithm performs very slight adjustments to the probabilistic model to allow a proper exploration of the search space. And as the search progresses, these adjustments become more substantial to intensify the search on a more focused area. As for the evaluation step, in our case, this consists of running simulations to evaluate each candidate. These three steps are then repeated until a stopping criterion is met. In our case, the algorithm has a budget of simulations that they can run. They can stop once this budget is exhausted. Okay, so this is a brief description of the base version of our EDA. We have also standard this base version with some machine learning techniques. More specifically, we have integrated a regression model based on random forests with our EDA. The random forests here are used as a surrogate model to predict the NPV of the solutions. However, rather than using a surrogate model to replace solutions and reduce the algorithm's runtime, our focus is on improving solution quality, that is, improving the sampling step rather than the evaluation step. Random forests are similar to decision trees, except that we have a collection of decision trees instead of a single one. Each one of the trees is built in a different manner, and we take the average prediction of individual trees. Uh, we chose random forests because they are able to deal with both the categorical and numerical variables which we have in our, in our problem. And besides that, random forests have been widely applied in the literature in many different domains with a reasonable success. Okay, so now I'll explain the details. Uh, here on the left, we have the base version of our algorithm named DDA. You can see that the three main steps that I mentioned before we, have, we start by sampling P candidates. This P here is the population size, which is a parameter of our method. After that, we have the evaluation step in, in which we run simulations to evaluate the population. This step usually is the longest one. And at the end of each iteration, we update the probabilistic model to guide the search. 
steps are then repeated until the budget of simulations is exhausted. Here on the center, we have the first variant of the Bayes algorithm. This variant is named regression based EDA, REDA. So the R, R here stands for regression because in this variant, we use the regression model based on random forest. We can see that R, REDA has two additional steps highlighted in blue. The blue color in the figure indicates steps that are related to the regression model. One strategy that we could use to improve our method would be simply generating more solutions per, per, per iteration. By evaluating more solutions, we are more likely to find high quality solutions. However, we obviously would have an increased cost to evaluate all the solutions as a drawback. So in REDA, instead of sampling P solutions per iteration, we increase the population size to P times F, where F is a factor greater than one. This increases the number of candidates that we generate at, e at each iteration. However, instead of evaluation this large population with simulations, we use the regression model to compute a prediction uh, for the NPV of each candidate. The cost of computing the performance prediction is orders of magnitude lower, but of course we need an accurate model as the search can be misguided by inaccurate predictions. After computing the NPV predictions, we rank all the solutions according to their NPV, their NPV prediction, and we select the best P solutions, discard the rest. After that, we then properly evaluate these candidates with simulations. Since we only kept P solutions, the evaluation step takes the same time as in the base version of the algorithm. We ran the same number of simulations as before. And at the end, we not only update the probabilistic model, but we also retrain the regression model, including the data that we obtained in the previous evaluation step. And we repeat this whole process until the budget of simulations is exhausted. Okay, this is the first variant of EDA. We have also developed a second variant named regression-based EDA with local search, REDA-LS. This variant is similar to REDA, with, with, but with one additional step. After computing the performance predictions and selecting the best P candidates, we perform a local search on some of those candidates. This local search also uses the regression model to evaluate the candidates. The local search uses a, a one exchange neighborhood and follows a best improvement strategy. This means that at each iteration, at each step, it generates a list of neighbor candidates that differ from the current solution in the value of exactly one variable. We compute the performance prediction of all the neighbors and accept the best one. The local search stops when there are no improving neighbors, as this means that we have reached a local optimum. Uh, with this local search, we expect to improve the quality of the candidates. However, since we use the regression model here, having an accurate model is crucial. Moreover, we only apply this local search to the top 10 solutions in the population, mainly because applying it to many solutions would increase the number of identical solutions due to the strong intensification of the search performed by the local search. Having more diverse, diverse solutions is also important important in order to improve the accuracy of the regression model. And finally, the last two steps are exactly the same as in REDA. Okay, so these are the three methods that we have developed. I will now describe our computational experiments. We have evaluated our methods against the Unicine 1D and Unicine 2D benchmarks. Unicene 1D is limited to well placement. Unicene 2D includes the number of wells as well. Since our methods are stochastic, we run each method 10 times and we report the mean results. Each run was limited to 1000 simulations and we present the results as the average relative deviation from the best known NPV for each benchmark. And we also show a comparison to IDLHC which is the standard, standard method for production strategy optimization here in the research group. Here are the results. They are the average relative deviation in percentage, so lower is better. 
in both in Unisyn 1D and 2D the methods with the regression model yield, yielded better results compared to the base version without the model. REDALS obtained best results in both cases. The improvement over EDA was about 3% for Unisyn 1D and 4.4% for Unisyn 2D. As for the improvement over uh, IDLHC, was about 1% for Unisyn 1D and 4.5% for Unisyn 2D. Here we have a visual representation of the well placement with the highest NPV obtained by, by each method for Unisyn 2D. The color here indicates the oil saturation. You can pause the video if you want to take a look. Um, so in summary, the results show that the approaches with machine learning obtain a significant improvement over the base version of the algorithm and the methods are also competitive compared to IDLHC, yielding better results in most cases. And this concludes my presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. You can forward any questions to this address. Also, thanks to our supporters. That's it. Bye.